Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a carburetor here, a few other carburetor as well. I'm gonna show you how the carburetor normally works in the shortage as possible, but this is a complex thing. Uh, basically, carburetor, you get whether it's plastic or aluminum, whichever, and it has uh, two parts, one on top, one on the bottom. Top part is called uh, Venturi and the bottom part is called the bowl. So the main job of the carburetor is to mix air and fuel and send it to the engine and the combustion chamber. So let me start with the, the bowl. And it looks like that. It has to sit properly. So if it doesn't sit this way, it doesn't work properly. So this is the rod, let me get that rod out, that's the rod, and that is called float, I dropped the needle, needle, some of them are metal, some of them are plastic, whichever they may be, so let me put it just here, and that is the main jet inside here and you have an emulsion tube which you can see from here right there so when the fuel passes from here fuel line goes here and comes down from here initially float will be like that so the fuel start pouring in the bowl and once the bowl start filling up and goes up you know how it's closing it seals up the seat which is located here fuels up it passes through here and passes through the main jet which is right here which is right here and then passes to this emulsion tube right here so basically the the carburetor issue the carburetor got an issue with these tubes so if you can clean up most of the time what i'm saying so if you can clean up this tube and the problem will be solved and it goes with this emulsion tube it goes to the venturi so when air passes through here and the fuel comes from the tiny tube here and goes towards the engine from here usually with the pipe like that this is a choke plate and that's the throttle plate so how does the carburetor works when it's in the idle position so these holes are responsible for taking the air in when it's idle and there is a idle screw so what does that screw does is more you push in so this goes this way and opens up so the more the air goes in high rpm the less the air low rpm more fuel in more fuel is called rich mixture and less fuel is called linear mix so once you get this screw out you'll see pilot jet or pilot screw whenever it's idle this pilot jet is responsible for giving a fuel 
So I will take that off and see. Just be careful when you take it off. And there's a tiny hole you gotta clean. And looks like that if you can see. Put it back in. Machine on the higher profile machine. How does that work? Because what happens is they will have the fuel comes in and they will have a bigger hole here. So bigger, more fuel comes in, and the main jet will be larger as well. So more fuel comes in, more fuel goes in, and it mixes with the air from here. So this screw here, you can adjust the amount of air going in the engine. If you screw in, less air going in, and if you take the screw, if you unscrew, more air goes in.